Hey guys, I have a haul to share with you all today. This is actually a D-stash that I purchased from another crafty person here on YouTube. And um, I wanted to go ahead and show what I purchased. Um, this is the only die set that I purchased from them. And it's actually a set of four dies. I don't know who manufactures this. So if anybody recognizes this, it's kind of, I think it's a Christmas one because there's holly here. Which, you know, you can always cut those pieces off if you want to make it non Christmassy. Um, but they all kind of layer together. Um, so that's what I purchased is the die set. And then I purchased some stamps. Sorry, guys. Um, it's going to fall down here. Uh, they're all Lavinia stamps. And this is the first time I've had any of this brand, um, they're from the UK. And these are all used. Well, I think some of these are used. Some of these are probably never used. I don't know. Um, this one. And these are like fairy themed. So um, you can see here. This is the fairy's clothes hanging on a line. A little tree here. I think it's reversed. So it's turned around the wrong way. Um, some flowers. Which I thought were really nice. Um, some more flowers going the other direction. Um, another clothesline, except these are the wings. Here's the fairies now. I'm sitting on a branch playing a flute. Not a flute or some sort of horn. I don't know. Um mushrooms so these would be houses because you can see the windows cut out of them um, these are smaller size fairies some more small ones there's a larger one sitting down I think this is the pathway let's see is there a name no name no name nope no name on this one it looks like a pathway to me, like rocks um, along a path. Some more flowers. This one's like a, a spray of stars, like in a moon, shape of a moon. And some more mushrooms. And this is another mushroom with the houses, because you can see the windows. I really like this one. And then this last one is actually a Technique Tuesday, which kind of goes similar, uh, similar uh, effect to the others. You can see some tall grass and then some wheat. I think that's wheat. Maybe those are flowers, actually. Uh, I don't know. Um, but you could also use these in scenes with the fairies. So that is my D stash haul that I purchased. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey everybody. Bye. So I have a haul to share with you all. I shared on my Facebook wall that Tuesday morning had another sale for Martha Stewart stuff today. Um, it was in the circular that uh, they emailed me yesterday. So I went looking since I missed it the first time about a month ago. <laughs> um, so I uh, picked up some punches, um, the snowflake, here's the SKU number. And um, I don't think I have any of these, but if I do, I'll just return them. Um, there's this punch around the page. This box is a little bit mangled, isn't it? There's a skew. It looks okay. Um, I got the balloon. There's a skew for that. I'm on my couch today because I'm tired. It's very hot here. And then I got this one. It's a double punch. I don't know what that means. Double, double punch? What does that mean? Monarch butterfly. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't think I have that one. This is another butterfly. Royal butterfly. Here's the skew. Um, and then I got this one, which I think I actually, I ordered, um, Martha's favorite punch set from Joann's. It's a 10 piece punch set and I think this one might be in it so I might have to return this. I thought I didn't have this in my thing but 
Maybe I'll return that one. Okay, there's more Martha Stewart stuff. I, I got this, um, what do they call this? Embossing stylus set. But you can, you know, it's got the balls on it and it's good for making flowers, although that's not what I, I don't, I don't really make flowers. I'd rather buy them than make them. But it was $3. I can use it for something else. And then this metal, it's a metal, um, metal working tool set. I don't know if I'll use it for that, but it has a couple of pieces in it. It's got that little pad in there, a rotary cutter, and a ruler, and then a little thing you can use for shaping. There's the skew for that. I got some of these um, heart boxes. Um, I got some round ones the last time I was there, but they had some heart shapes, and I prefer hearts just because I like hearts. And there is the skew. And then they had lots of vinyl. Um, so I got black. And this is American Crafts vinyl. It's 12 by 48 inches. Here's the skew for $3. And then there's the silver in that POW glitter so it doesn't shed. And I'm trying to do this one-handed. Sorry. This is um, the vinyl transfer. Um, anybody who does the vinyl stuff knows that you have to, to get words straight when you stick them up onto things. Um, it's good to have some transfer paper. So this is um, what that is. Uh, again, uh, 12 by 40 inches. There's a gold in the glitter, similar to the silver. And then I got this one that's really cool. It's mirrored. So that'd be cool to cut stuff. I haven't tried it yet, but I will at some point. Uh, I got this. Um, this is older, I think. I um, just picked one up because I wanted to try it out. I got one of these, which I don't know why I purchased this. Because I could probably make this just as easy. It's a book binding kit. It makes an accordion book. Um, then I got some tins from Artsy. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this the lighting in here. I just have the window open. So there's a heart tin and then I got other sizes so let me just share that. There's a smaller rectangular. This is the smallest size. And these are hinged. There's this one which is like the medium size and then they have a larger one right here. You can see the sizes on the tag, so there's one in that. Um, I got some Martha Stewart twine. And the reason I got this was I want to try this in my Stitch Happy sewing machine. Um, I know that We Are Memory Keepers sells their own twine, but I don't want to buy it for however much they had it for. This was $2 for this whole roll. So I'm going to try that out. And then I got some glitter from Martha Stewart, this big bottle of glitter. They didn't have the multi-packs, but um, this will be good for Christmas, I think. I think I might have this. I don't know. And then the last thing I got from Tuesday morning is this iron. And I wanted to use this for when I am sewing. Um... Stuff. Um, smaller items, not clothes. Um, and then I bought some jewelry stuff at AC Moore. I had to go to AC Moore to pick up, um, which is in the same closet as the Tuesday morning, to pick up a shadow box frame. So that's what I did. And I did find one. I'll show it to you when I make the project. Um, but I got these beads. Um, they're pretty long strands. Um, this clear one had, it's like a cracked bead sort of thing and it's got different colors on it. It's got blue, clear, and then um, like a, I don't know how to describe that one. It's got like a yellowish tone and then there's a green at the bottom. Then I got some milky blue and white ones to also accent. And those were three for ten dollars. And then I got some of these um, curved tubes as well as some of the magic, stretch magic, to make some bracelets. And other than the shadow box, that was it. 
Um, so I'm in for the rest of the day because it's hot out there. It's probably in the 90s today and it's so humid. Anyway, that is my haul for now and thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, so really quickly, I just wanted to share some happy mail that came today in the mail or actually yesterday. Um, this is the Magnolia pop-up box number three. Um, so I, I can't remember. I think it's Country Girl or something. I don't know. There is a theme to this one. Um, so you get two different laces, like a minty green and a white. You get two Magnolia rubber stamps. Magnolia Tilda, I should say. This one I'm not so happy with. You could see her feet. <laughs> Me and the feet are a no-no. At least this one's got shoes. And I think this one's got attitude. Look how she's standing. With her hands on her hips. Um, she's cute. And her hair and ponytails. And then there's a little dog. I think that's a dog. And little flowers here. Excuse my big old hand in the way. And then... This one is a set of stairs with like um, flowers on both sides, kind of like a, I guess like a deck or something like that. It's kind of cute. Nice for scenes. And then you get these dies in here too. There's, um, I think these are like, I don't know, leaves like these two right here or grain. And then this could be like a leaf too. Or a feather, I think, the way, depending on how you want to make it look. So that's the Magnolia pop up box number three that you can only get from Magnolia in Sweden. And they announced it, um, I think they announced it on their Facebook. That's how I learned about it. And then I ordered this um, stamp from the Ton. This is the perfume bottles. I can't get that all in there. Um, you can see what it says. And then, uh, what is it called? Does it have a name? Marvelous Perfumes. And then the, the other thing I ordered was this layering stamp. It's, it's a wave, so you get um, three, three different layers, like, you know, there. And then this is the finished look of it. So that, I thought that was just really pretty. So here, it's pretty big, right? Um with the layers and then you get some sentiments and it's just called wave cool right okay so that is the other thing i got in the mail and thanks for watching bye for now